Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn photos into stained glass windows in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using off object selection tool, using glass and stained glass under filter gallery, using bevel and emboss, and drop shadow under blending options, and using channels for selection. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here two images. So one is this butterfly that will serve as our subject and one is this part that will serve as our background. So going on to the original document, the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection on this butterfly. So to do that, we're going to make use of the object selection tool. So going on to the toolbar, let's find on the object selection tool. It shows this icon. Click on that. For the options, I'm going to set this mode to rectangle and then select subject. Now I'm going to click and drag around the triangle around our subject, then release, and it automatically create a selection around it. So once we already have this selection, go to the layers panel, make sure that you're selecting on that background layer, then let's add a mask. So just click on this icon, there you go. Now the next step here is we're going to turn this layer into a smart object. So to do that, all you have to do is to right click on that layer, then click on convert to smart object. Now, this layer is already a smart object with this symbol over here. All right. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to add the stained glass filter. But before we do that, make sure that you're going to set the foreground color to black. All right. So you, okay. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to menu bar, go to filter, then find on filter gallery. Well, let's go to texture, then find stained glass. For the cell size, I'm going to set this one to 26. For the border thickness, I'm going to set this one to 6 and light intensity to 2. Once all set, hit OK. All right, now noticing here that the stained glass has those black leading. Well, that's the reason why we set the foreground color to black. Now, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to add the stroke. So to do that, from that layer, right click on it, then go to blending options. Then go to stroke, click on stroke. Let's set the size to 6, position to outside, color to black, and the opacity to 100. Then hit OK. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, Please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to add the stained glass background leading. All right. So to do that, all I have to do is to click on that layer. Then let's add a layer below it. To do that, all I have to do is to press control, hold it, then click on add layer mask. Once I did that, it created a layer below. All right. Now we're going to fill this one white color so to do that I'm all, all i have to do is to press control hold it then press backspace now it it applied the white background all right so from this white background layer make sure that's selected go to menu bar go to filter go to filter go to filter gallery still on stained glass i'm gonna set the cell size into amount of 48 percent I'm also going to add a just one amount of border thickness. So set this one to seven. All right, then hit OK. Next up here is we're going to remove temporarily the color of the butterfly itself. So to do that, I'm going to double click on the thumbnail of this butterfly layer. All right, so once I click that, we just open the open source of this butterfly layer. Then we're going to add a layer mask on top. So just go here. Right on the right corner of the screen, click on this, add a layer. There you go. Now from this layer, we're going to turn this one into a white background. So just what I've said a while ago, all you have to do is make sure that the white is behind the foreground color, then press backspace. Now it turns into white. Okay, then let's copy the layer mask thumbnail of this butterfly. So to do that, all I have to do is to press Alt, hold it, then click and hold and drag it on this white background. Once I did that, it turns into this. Then I'm going to hide this layer down. All right, there you go. Then 
to save it press control plus s okay then let's go back to our original document now it turns into this all right the color is gone now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to create a selection from all those lines or what we call the leading all right so to do that let's go to the channels panel but if you can't locate that you can go to windows then find on channels all right so once you're already here on the channels panel, now I'm going to press control, hold it, and click on the RGB layer. There you go. Once I did that, it created a selection from all those lines. Amazing, isn't it? Now let's invert this layer by pressing control plus shift plus I. So I repeat for the inversion, press control plus shift plus I. Now let's go to the layers panel, like that. Then let's add another layer. Click on this icon. There you go. So the next step we're going to do here is that we're going to. So the next step we're going to do here, make sure that you're selected on that new layer. Then make sure that the foreground color is black. Press Alt, hold it, then click Backspace. So what happened? I'm going to hide this layer just a moment. And now we already have this letting on this layer. All right, let's bring back those layers. Let's make them visible. Okay, now let's deselect this one. Press Control plus D. Okay, and then uh, let's go to, uh, then let's open the source of the butterfly layer. Again, go to, go to this window, right, where, where the butterfly is. Then I'm going to make the butterfly layer visible. And this one on top, we're going to delete it. So click and drag it on the trash. There you are. All right, then let's save this one. Press Control plus S. Then let's go back to original document. Now it brings back the color. All right, now the next step we're going to do here is we're going to apply the background layer. So, so before I paste the background, I'm going to click this layer underneath. Then go to the windows of our background. Press Control plus A to deselect the picture. Press Control plus C to copy. Let's go back to the original document. Then press Control plus V to paste it. There you are. Now, for the leading. I'm going to click on the leading layer, this one. Then go to oh, leading layer, this one. Right click on it. Then choose on blending options. Then this layer style window will appear. Then let's go to bevel and emboss. So click on this. There you go. And click on the bevel emboss for the setting. Then for the style, I'm going to set this one to inner bevel. Technique, chisel hard. For the depth, I'm going to set this one to 100. Direction is up. Size is 6. Soften to 0. For the angle, I'm going to change this one to 120 degrees. For the altitude, is 30 degrees. Set the highlight mode to screen. Capacity to 100. Multiply to... Uh, for the shadow mode, it should be multiply. Set this one to 75%. Then... Hit OK. Moving on to the next step, click on the background layer. Yes, this one, the part. Then let's convert this layer to smart object. Right click on it. Click on convert to smart object. Click on this layer. Let's add a Gaussian blur to this. Go to the menu bar. Go to filter. Go to blur. Then choose on Gaussian blur. So for the radius, I'm going to set this one to 25 pixels. Then hit OK. And another thing, still on that background layer, go to filter. This time, let's choose on Filter Gallery. Then go to Distort. Click on this, Glass. For the distortion, I'm going to set the amount to the fullest, 20%. For the scaling, I'm also going to increase the size of it to, um, to the fullest. Smoothness to 5 for the texture. Set this one to Canvas. Once you're good with it, hit OK. All right. Now, the, next, the last step here is that we're going to change the blending options of the butterfly layer so click on that layer yes the butterfly then let's change the blending mode to multiply and there you have it now let me show you the before and after this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to turn photos into stained glass window in photoshop